Hi guys, what I want to talk about in this video is how to use Alexa and Quantcast and Compete to do your competitive analyses uh, when comparing websites. Um, they are great tools, but you have to use them with caution because, again, they are all panel-based and they all have a lot of error associated with the metrics. However, there is an easy way to kind of wash out that error effect. So let's uh, jump right to the Alexa website and let me show you uh, what I mean by this. Let's pretend like your client is Schwab, Charles Schwab, and they are interested in comparing themselves versus, let's say, Fidelity. Um, uh, Edward Jones and Vanguard regarding some basic web metrics like reach, page views per user, time spent on site, and some demos, age, gender, education levels, and things along those lines. So what we would do is we would go to the Alexa toolbar, type in Schwab, and we could see their reach. Um, and again, looking at their three-month average, we see it's 0.0495. So keep in mind that is in percent. Okay, so how you guys um, uh, understand reach. Basically think of it this way, it's the percent of the Alexa panel that reaches out and touches the Schwab website on a daily basis. Uh, so it's 0.0495%. To put this in perspective, the reach for Google, if you were to type Google in here, is 50%, which means one out of every two people touch Google on a daily basis. So you would actually see 0.5 would be their three month average. Uh, again, the 0.0495 is 0.000495 in decimal format. Okay, so that's the reach. Then we could look at things like page views for user, and we see that 6.46 pages on average, three month average, time on site, three months average is seven minutes and 57 seconds. But keep in mind, each of these have errors associated with them. That's why I get a little concerned showing these specifically to a client, because there are a lot of errors associated with it. So what I like to do is do it in comparison to Fidelity, and I'll index the numbers one to the other. And by indexing, I've pretty much washed out the error that is involved in these metrics and it, it you know gives basically a stronger um, piece of information back to the client uh, anyway um, so let me jump to Excel and let me show you how I would input this numbers into Excel so here are the Schwab metrics that we just looked at the 495 the 6.46 and the 757 seconds then I would do the same thing for Fidelity same thing for Edward Jones and the same thing for Vanguard. Now again, what I would take back to the client would be something with the index numbers. The index that I have here for Fidelity is 175 and that index number is determined by counting, by taking the reach of Fidelity and dividing it by the reach for Schwab and then I multiply it by 100 and then I round it off guys. So how we interpret this index is we say the reach for Fidelity is 75% higher than that of Charles Schwab. We look at Edward Jones, which is the 0 0.00682 divided by the 0 0.0495, and we get an index of 14, which tells me the reach of Edward Jones is 86% below that of Schwab, and the reach of Vanguard is 45% below that of Schwab. Then I can do the same thing and index the page views per user and also the time spent on site. And then we've got these index numbers, which gives them some good solid information regarding how they compare. And we've pretty much washed out the error associated with these panels. So the same thing as I would do if I were using Compete or also perhaps a Quantcast as well. Okay, then what I would do, guys, is, again, for the other comparison, which is, let's say, audience uh, audience uh, sort of demographics like age or gender or education level, again, I would pretty much just do screenshots here of these because they don't give me the raw data. And then I would bring those into a PowerPoint slide and then make comments about what I'm seeing in comparing the two. So, for example, this is how I might, again, bring in the key metric comparisons within uh, my uh, PowerPoint deck. And then for the age demo by site, I might bring something in old like this and then just make some commentary regarding how we are seeing things. Edward Jones appears to be more likely to be older, uh, heavy there on the older age groups than Schwab, however close. Uh, and then we notice Fidelity definitely is a little bit younger uh, than the uh, others as well. So again, this is how I would do it, guys. It, they're great tools. You just have to use them carefully, uh, but they can certainly give a lot of information back to your client. So um, I certainly hope you found this uh, video helpful, and um, have a great day.